to meet you too. Hi. So, um, I'm a detective at the Family Protection Unit with the City of Chula Vista Police Department. I work alongside Detective Kale here. We're actually um, doing an investigation on some allegations that we have to obviously look into. You're a law enforcement yeah. officer, so you know that we look into everything um, equally. I want to make sure, though, before we get started, that you're aware um, that this is a voluntary interview, and so um, I just want to make sure that you're aware of all of those yeah. things. And so I'm going to just have you... and. This is one of those forms that they give everybody, so it doesn't really fit. So if I just happen to cross out as I'm going along, okay. sorry about that. So. Um, so it says, thank you for coming voluntarily um, to, and then we'll go ahead and just put the admin office. Okay. All right. Um, oh, and of course, you know about body worn. Yeah. So yeah, this is my body worn. Of course, it audio and video records everything. And there's also an audio recorder here just in case. Okay. Um, office at Central Jail. Um, to share your side of the story with us, of course, in regards to the, um, the report that we're investigating. Okay. You're not under arrest, and you are not being detained. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. I'll have you go ahead and write it in. And you can initial or say yes. Just initial. Okay. Yeah. And if you would, just go ahead and read the next one. And then just sign right there under your name. Is that the correct spelling of your name? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. All right. So just so, just for record's sake, I'm going to go ahead and read what you did initial. Um, so you understand that you're not under arrest and you are not being detained. Um, you understand that you're free to leave at any time. There will not be any locked doors keeping you from leaving. As you notice, that one doesn't have a lock behind you. Yeah. Um, you can choose what questions you want to answer. Um, and you can choose to leave or let us know, and we will assist you with the exit. Although you're probably going to be the one assisting me, because I don't know my way around here. Okay. Um, so you understand, like, if you, as far as, like, leaving, you have access points, and you know how to leave or yeah, where to go. Yeah, Okay. Very cool. Um, so I know that I have a lot to delve into, but I, I really want to get to know you first, if you don't yeah, mind. Definitely. Okay. So I'm going to lean back and get comfortable, um, just because, are you comfortable? Do you want yeah, to take off I'm your good. duty belt? No, I'm good. I'm okay, because okay. I understand that you know the duty belt gets pretty annoying pretty mm -hmm. quickly. So if you want to take it off at any point, you no, let I'm me know. Cool. Um, so of course I've done my research and investigations and everything. So I've learned a little bit about you, but I'd like mm -hmm. to learn a little bit more. But yeah. that's okay. Um, I found that you went to Santana High School. I did. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about your upbringing? Yeah. So um, grew up in Santee, uh, Santana High School. Uh, played sports. Football, baseball. Went to Grossmont College for a little bit. Played baseball there. Um, and got a job here. Worked at Dick's Sporting Goods before this, um, so this is my second job. Okay. Started working with this department for coming up on five years now. Okay. So baseball seemed pretty important to you back yeah, in high school. Fine, yeah. um, what position? Uh, pitcher. Very cool. How's your arm holding up? I mean, soreness every once in a while, but I haven't thrown for a while. So. Yeah, no, it still kills me. Um, I played softball. Okay, nice. Right. So I was, yeah, um, third, short, center, and pitcher. Here in San Diego? Yeah, down um, uh, Hilltop Indian Valley kind of area. Um, but I know, like, back when, I don't know if it was the same for you, they had no idea, like, about icing and massaging. And uh, yeah, I knew about icing stuff, yeah. I did not, so I am paying the price <laughs> for it. Hand, so. Yes, and it's brutal, though. Let me tell you, I'm paying for it still. But, so did you ever play any other sports in high school? In high school, no, just uh, football and baseball. Football, baseball? Yeah. Cool. Um, anything else in school that you enjoyed doing? Hanging out with friends, you know, just typical high school stuff. I mean, okay. it's pretty sheltered from my mom, so okay. I don't want to get out much, but yeah, just the sports and stuff. Okay, how come you say you're... Keeping me, keeping me squared away, keeping me in line. Very cool. And have you always worked corrections? Uh, yeah, I attempted to go out to the patrol, went to the academy. Things didn't work out there, so I came back here. Okay. Did you have fun at the academy while you were oh, there? Oh yeah, I enjoyed it. It's good. I mean, camaraderie and stuff like that. So. It's... Okay. Um, married? Have any kids? Oh yeah, uh, married. Recently got married this last year in September. Okay. Um, we have a kid due on the way in August. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Boy, girl. Boy. Very nice. Unfortunately. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. 
What are you like hoping for? Oh no, no I said looking forward. To oh, it. looking yeah. forward. I thought yeah. you said unfortunately. I'm no, like, oh, no, no, no. No, I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, that's cool. Um, and your wife? How long have you known her? Uh, actually, preschool. Um, yeah, we met in preschool. Went separate ways. Um, met her back in high school. Things like I was trying to date her, but she was playing playing it hard to get again. Yeah. Um, then college came around, tried again, and actually ran into her in PV like a little, about three years ago. Okay. And then, yeah, we reconnected then and got, got married, Smart. got a family, bought a house. It's nice. You don't hear stories that go that far back. <laughs> um, so you guys got married just last year, already expecting baby number one. Yeah. Are you still living in Santee? Yeah. Okay. Where are you living at? Um, right across from West Hills, new community, Western community. Okay. So you're going to have your kid go to West Hills? Probably, yeah. Over Santa. Are they yeah. viral? Are they, uh, um, rivals? Rivals? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be hard. Enough, so. Yeah, it's going to be hard combating, uh, you know, everybody else and doing that. Um, so do you do anything else as far as for fun? Any, uh, do you do sports still? Um, uh, I'll do softball with the guys here at work and stuff like that. Oh. Uh, other than that, mountain bike once in a while. Cool. How about video games, computers, anything like that? Do you ever? Yeah, I'll play video games every once in a while and stuff like that, but. Not too often, watch not big on the video games. <laughs> cool. Um, and I hear your schedule recently changed. How do you feel about oh, the schedule it's change? Yeah. yeah. Seven, twelve and a half in a row. Kills you. Seven off is nice, but it flies by, so. Yeah, and then those seven drag yeah. once you're here. So at least you're on your last day today, yeah. right? Uh, we communicated with some of uh, the people who were like, hey, when does he work? Um, and um, thank you for meeting with us here. Yeah. Um, we obviously, given COVID, there's not a lot of places you can meet up with people right now. Um, you know, that's one comfortable, gives us enough space, and you know, makes you feel like you know that you're not you know at your home or mm -hmm. randomly out in the middle of nowhere. So, um, I know RPD is like refusing to let anybody in the doors. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. can understand. Um, so, um, how about social media? Are you active on social media at all? Uh, Facebook. And Instagram. Um, had Snapchat back in the day, got rid of that with my wife. We got caught in the academy with, with her and stuff, some stuff. But, hmm. uh, Can you tell me about that? or? Um, I mean, it was with another recruit in the academy. But, okay. So you're um, communicating with another recruit? I was back in, I stopped. Everything got cut off. Um, got rid of, I mean, I didn't delete the Snapchat. I just got deleted the app. So okay. I haven't used it for like, I don't know, two, a year and a half now. Okay. Uh, so on Facebook, just because I like to jot down everybody's social media when I can, um, what's your Facebook login? Like your um, username? Uh, I think just under Jalen Fleer. It's your name? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, and then you said Instagram? Sorry? Instagram, yeah. Okay. What's your Instagram username? Uh, I think. Okay. And then you said you got rid of Snapchat, but when you did have it, what was it? Um... Just Jalen Fleer. Jalen Fleer? Yeah. Okay. So the one that you had there, and has that so that account since been deleted or just deactivated that one, the... That just delete the app. I think, it's, I think it's still there. Okay. And I know when it comes to um, Facebook, you connect it to an email address. Do you know yep. what email address is connected to it? And then your Instagram account, what same email? I think so, yeah. Okay. And I know sometimes with Snapchat, they'll have you either sign up with a phone number or an email. I believe it's my phone number. Okay. Okay. Very cool. So, um, I don't know, do you have any questions for me before we kind of... Can I ask what this is about? Yeah, so we're looking into some allegations that were made. We're kind of it, it started with a Crime Stopper report, so we're just kind of okay. going from there. Um, uh, we did receive um, a picture um, that um, you know when we looked into it, it looks similar to you. So I don't know yeah. if you can take a look at the picture and just tell me if you've seen this picture before. Oh, I have like fifteen million things here. Okay. So this picture right here. Yeah, that's definitely me. I went to gross one. Okay, so um, this picture right here. How old were you when it was taken? Uh, Twenty. Twenty. Have you ever used this picture on any social media site? Um, I think it was Snapchat back in the day. Yeah. Okay. All right. Have you ever shared this picture with anybody on Snapchat? Um. Yeah. Probably my wife. To be honest. Um. Let me 
mean, obviously, I talked to other girls back in the day, too, but I can't remember. That's okay. Not bad. Um, if you had to guesstimate how many times you may have shared the photo, how many times? That one, maybe just a couple times, once or twice. Okay. So definitely to your wife. Yeah. Okay, so you've used that photo for your wife, and you were about 20 years old in the photo. You did share it on Snapchat, um, and then maybe some other girls you were talking to? I mean, yeah, this was a long time ago, so I don't really remember who it was. Okay. Um, have you ever posted it as, like, your profile photo, or no, that one ever no. posted it on Instagram? No. Oh, I forgot to ask you, are your accounts, is your Instagram and your Facebook, are they private? They are. Yeah. Okay. And I know Snapchat is all private, right? I mean, you have to add somebody. Yeah, I believe I had to, yeah. You can't just... request a friend. Yeah, you can't just be anyone. So that one's at least a little bit better where it's like you have to actively search for somebody, right? Um, okay, so you in the photo. Um, and is that a gross font? Is that gross font? Yeah, it's gross font. Okay, cool. That makes it very easy. Um, so as far as like um, the picture. So um, this photo came up in connection with some allegations... Um, about you communicating with a younger female on Snapchat. Okay. Have you ever communicated with any females that uh, we we have already recognized that yes you have with yeah, your wife, recruit so. from the from the um the back uh, from the past. Is there anyone else you've communicated with on Snapchat? I mean, back then, no, just close friends and coworkers and stuff like that. Anyone recently? Um, is there any reason why your phone number and email might be linked to a different Snapchat account? No, no. I never had another one. Just the Jalen Clear one. Okay, so that phone number and email wouldn't be attached to no. any other account? Okay. Alright. And um, your schedule. I know that um, you work every seven days on and seven days off. What is your wife's schedule like? Uh, she's every Friday, Saturday off on um, day shift, so typical nine to, nine to five. Okay, so she works nine to five and you work like the complete opposite schedule? Depends. Every three months we rotate, days and nights. Okay, and how long have you been on nights now? Nights now? Probably, probably a little over a month now. A month and a half. Can I ask, is this something I might, I should have lawyers on? So right now, and I'll go over the behavior with you, you know, we're investigating allegations that okay. were made that you were communicating with a younger female on Snapchat and potentially some material might have been shared. Okay. Um, some photos, some images, stuff like that. So we, of course, want to be able to hear what happened from your side, if that in fact did occur, or if it didn't occur, we want to always Everyone that I talked to, I mean, it was about my age, I remember. Okay. Uh, so who have you talked to? My wife. Um, I mean, this was back then when I had, I had Tinder, so I did okay. meet people on Tinder and stuff. But everyone should have been older than that to know of because Tinder's 18 and up. Okay. Um, did you ever meet up with anyone that you met on Tinder? On Tinder? My ex-girlfriend, yeah. And okay. we dated for like three years. Okay. What's your ex-girlfriend's name? So you met her on Tinder, on but Tinder, you yeah. dated for three yeah. years in after college. Tinder? So I met her on Tinder in college when I was playing baseball and dated. we dated for about three years. Well, you clearly don't know the concept of Tinder. <laughs> I was on Tinder long, yeah. Okay, her, and, so yeah. Um, how old were you then when you dated her? Oh, shoot, maybe like 20, about 20 or 20, yeah. And how old was she? Same age. She Same like age? My age, yeah. Okay. Um, so, yes, on Tinder, when you were on Tinder, and forgive me, I'm not very well versed on Tinder, do you have a username there as well? Um, uh, sure, I can't remember, it might have just been Jalen or Jay, Jalen or something like that. Okay. So, J-A-Y? Yeah, probably Jalen, to be honest, J-A-Y-L-E-N. Do you ever go by Jay? Uh, friends call me Jay, once in a while. Okay, so Tinder, Snapchat, um, Instagram, Facebook, any other social media sites that you've delved into or used? No, no, other social. Okay. All right. 
Um, so, um, of course, we've spoken to, you know, obviously, the other parties involved and kind of gotten some of the information. Um, and so the reason why this particular photo was kind of brought up is because this photo was sent uh, to this female, which is why I wonder if this photo would be in anyone else's hands. I mean, for someone being younger, no, it wasn't anyone I sent younger. Um, so this photo was sent within the last three weeks. Have you sent this photo? No, definitely not. Wasn't not to anyone within no. the last three weeks? Okay. And you've only shared it with a select few people? Yeah, it was, I mean, that was a long time ago, so. Okay. So I want to make sure to get all the people you have shared it with just to make sure they wouldn't try to send it. Yeah, no, I mean, I know there's like screenshots and stuff. I don't remember that one being screenshotted on Snapchat. Oh. Yeah, because Snapchat lets you know when you're screenshotting. Yeah, it'll tell you. So, I, that was a long time ago. So, I don't know. Okay. So, um, you don't know who I might be able to connect with this photo as far on as that I... one? No, that was a long time ago. You said you've only shared it a couple times? Yeah, I mean, some, that, just, it's just a basic photo. I mean, I want to save that one or anything like okay. that. So it was either your wife or whoever the other person you might have shared it with that might have shared the photo again? My question I is... I doubt my wife would have did that. Yeah. We've been together and stuff for so long. Well, so you dated this girl for three years, and when you were 20, that's 23, you kindled your relationship with your wife about three years ago? Like, literally, like, oh, yeah, it was about a month apart from my ex. Other one. So you've wife. been with her for three years, yeah. so. You like the long-term relationships. I've always been in the long term, Three yeah. to three, <laughs> all right. Um, so, you know, this, like I said, this photo was um, sent to this person, so they were in possession of it, and we can't find any connection or reason why this photo would end up with this particular person if it wasn't shared by someone you may know or yourself. I agree, yeah. I, my wife would have done it, so I don't want to know why she would share that. So, I don't know, it's a long time ago. My ex, I, it was a bad breakup with my ex, but she wouldn't have saved something like that either. Uh, I, mean, I don't know who would have. I don't know. Because, I mean, I met girls on Tinder and stuff back in the day. And, yes, yeah, some save stuff, but I don't know who would save a picture like that. I mean, the nude, maybe, yeah, they would save. Not that one. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this photo, right? It's just no, you. No, I agree. I just, I don't know how it would get in the hands of a younger person. Um. Okay. There were also some conversations that were exchanged between you and this person. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't talk to anybody younger, though. Not on Snapchat? No. Not recently? Not recently, no. Now, you said all of your social media accounts are private, right? And I know you're a law enforcement officer, so I know that you've also taken the time to make your plates confidential. I mean, back in the day, yeah, yeah. I don't think my current ones are, though. Um, I mean, obviously, I ran your plates. Okay. <laughs> so you're okay. still driving the Ford Fusion? Yeah. And it's is it black or gray? It's gray. Okay. And you got tinted windows on it still? Yeah. And so, um, uh, you know, when it comes to the photo, I really kind of just, I really want to understand why this person would be in possession of the photo, but the only one who could really help me with that is you. Yeah. No, I, don't, I couldn't tell you that. I don't know. No. Okay. Well, along with the photo came some additional information about your personal life. Okay. Um, and based on some of the information you shared with me today, it seems to add up. Okay. Um, so is there any reason why the person would say they're you, they're you and share your information? It sounds like it'd be someone that knows me then. Obviously, um, I don't know who, I don't have any enemies that would be doing something like that. Can I ask what information was shared? What they, what they know? Um, well, um, we know that you're a baseball player. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people know that. Yeah, so, so that information was kind of shared. Okay. Um, your work schedule? Mm -hmm. It's been five years now I've worked here. Specifically the transition to seven days on, seven days off. Really? I haven't shared anything like that recently. So I couldn't tell you who that would be.
So let's take it back a little bit. Uh, you said you played football did, in high yeah. school, right? Um, what position did you play? I was a defensive end. Defensive end. Um, did you have the same jersey the whole time you played? Uh, my last two years were, yeah, 82, and then first one, first two years changed up. Um, and what year did you graduate? Uh, 2011. Okay. So, I know as an athlete, um, you know, sometimes when I would do my usernames and stuff, I would kind of use a combination of my things that I know about myself, right? Mm -hmm. So that way I wouldn't forget it. So this particular picture came from an account with this username, right? J178211. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I recognize that your jersey name in college was, or was 17. Yes, it was. And then high school was 82, 24. and it was 11. In 2011? I never had 11. No, as far as you graduated in 2011. I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it goes by J, and it is a Snapchat account that has some links to you. Okay. Okay. J, I'll be very honest, I just, I want to know the truth. Yeah, no, I never even heard of that account. Okay. Have you ever shared any images of your penis with anyone? Yeah. Okay. And how many times would you say you've done that? A lot. Can you kind of explain that a little bit more to me? I mean, my wife, my ex-girlfriend, back in the day, Tinder and stuff, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you know how Tinder is. Um, high school, even, yeah, junior high, I did. Did you ever share any videos of you having sex with anyone? With anyone? No. I've always had personal videos of me and my wife. That was it. And my ex actually had one, but... What does your ex look like? She's blonde. She's blonde? Okay. Yeah. Um, so you've never shared any videos? No, I have not, no. Just still shots? Yeah. Can you, I know this is kind of personal, so let me know if you get uncomfortable at all. Can you tell me what some of those images look like? Um, video I had. Uh, I used toys. It's awkward, but yeah, I used toys on my wife and stuff. Okay. Can you explain the toys? Uh, so She's your wife, right? Yeah. It's just your wife. It's intimate. Uh, we totally get this. Yeah. yeah. Um, dildos. Okay. A vibrator. That's really it. That's all I had. Okay. Um, you and your wife haven't been in that house too long, right? How, when did you guys move in? Uh, about a year and a half ago. Okay. And you guys, how many bedrooms are in the house? Four. Do you guys live with anyone else? No. Okay. Um, do you guys have a master bedroom? We do, yeah. All right. Um, can you tell me about your master bedroom? It's, um, I mean, just a big white room, big king bed. I mean, there's nothing really special to it. Okay. Um, just because it gives me kind of some insight of like, yeah. you know, what your yeah. what your home life is like. Um, do you guys you guys still sleep in the same room? That's a good marriage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I say that because people have been married a long time. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we come into contact with a lot of them. Um, do you guys have a TV? Mm -hmm. We do, yeah. Okay. What kind of a TV? Uh, just a Samsung, Samsung TV. Okay. Um, is it like a large room that has like one of those double door entries? Because I know some of those houses have them. No. No, it's just a single door. It's a single door? Yeah. Okay. Um, any dressers or? Um, yeah, we have one dresser. Can you Actually, we have three, three, two nice stands and a dresser. Okay. Can you describe the dresser to me? Yeah, it's like a um, tannish brown, I guess. Okay. Is it newer? Somewhat, yeah, yeah, probably. Because okay. you never know. Like sometimes when people move in, they have like that chic style look or like mm -hmm. the modern look. Um, so it just helps me to get an idea of what home life is like. Mm -hmm. um, it must be hard for you guys, though, because your schedules are complete opposite. Um, yeah, I mean, we still see each other at the end of the day. Yeah. So, so um, going back, and I'll give you a little bit more information, and then I'll let you chat for a little bit. Right. I don't like chatting a lot, so I already feel like I chat too much. So um, 
when it comes to the Crime Stopper that we're investigating and the Snapchat account, um, and of course your phone number and everything in connection with it, and some of the combinations of numbers and everything there, you can understand why obviously yeah, no, it's we have a growing crime, concern. Yeah, it's um, and of course your picture is attached to it, yeah. right? Um, which is even more like either someone's. Can I asked what you said. You got new ones too. There were images that were shared. Yes, that. Can um, I ask? I know, I'm sure you got them here. Can I ask to see what they are? You want to see the picture? Yeah, so I can get an idea. Of. Do I want to that too? Yeah. Um, so I don't actually have a clear shot of one. No. Yeah. So I can't. I did not. Okay, I understand. Print yeah. out those I pictures. I would talk to a lawyer because this is kind of. This is. I'm uncomfortable with this. This is weird. So. Of course, like um, you definitely have the ability to do that, and of course, yep. you know this is completely voluntary. Right, um, right. And so. Um, I just don't want to get caught up on something. I'm working this career. I don't want to get caught up on something. I fully understand. Oh. Yeah. So um, you can yes, 100 percent elect not to speak with us. You are not under arrest at this time. Yeah, I understand. Um, obviously, given the fact that we're here and the fact that we're speaking to you, I know that your bosses are going to want to. Speak question. with you afterwards, yeah. 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 Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and allow them to speak with you after. Okay. Um, obviously, since you don't want to talk to us anymore, my partner here may have. Well, some. I just wanted to clarify. I have a couple of questions, but yeah, you don't want to answer, or can I ask you the questions? Because you can choose to answer or not answer. So if I ask you a question and you're like, I don't want to answer that, yeah, you can no, tell me that, just so that we understand, just based on uh, the admonishments you read, you okay. Mm -hmm. Um, one of my questions was, I think I missed it, but when was the last time that you had Snapchat? Because uh, I know you said you deleted it, but I didn't hear when you deleted it. I never, I just deleted the app. I deleted okay. that when I was okay. in the academy. In the academy. So, yeah. When did you go to the academy? It's like a little over a year ago. A year, a year ago, yeah. so in 2019? Yeah, right at the beginning of 2019, January. Okay, and then um, what years did you go to college at Grossmont? Uh, 2011 to about 2013, okay. 14. And then I just want to make sure that we all understand each other. When my partner says um, a younger female, yeah. you understand that we mean someone under the age of 18? Yeah, that's obviously why you're here. You, you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any siblings? I have a younger sister, yeah. She's 19 right now. 20, oh. 20 sorry. Oh, okay. And then um, my last question was, was you were asking about the house and the decorations of your house. In any of your rooms in your house, do you have that new um, that new look where they have like the barn door um, outer rail type thing? It's like a country. I don't know what you would call it. I see it a lot on yeah. on like yeah. those DIY shows. Yes. Do you have those in your I do house? Have one, yeah. Okay. Um, that was the extent of my questions. Okay. So, uh, do you have any other questions? I mean, can we still ask you questions, or do you want to stop? No, I want to wait because I'm uncomfortable okay. with this. So, okay. Okay. Talk about it. okay. So, um, then, you know. I want to thank you for yeah, even no, taking the time to speak with me for this long. I can imagine that obviously um, being confronted with any level of questions can be uncomfortable, yeah. so I do appreciate that you've allowed us to speak with you even for this long. Yeah, okay, so um, with the next step, um, however, I'm going to go ahead and pull some documents here um, for you. So there are a few steps that we're going to be taking after this. Again, you are not being detained by us or anything, but we are acting um, on behalf of the court moving forward. Okay. Okay. So I will give you a chance to read through this. Um, this is a uh, search warrant that was granted this afternoon by a judge. Okay. Um, the warrant um, does allow us uh, to grab some DNA swabs from you. Okay. Um, as well as uh, any mobile devices that might be in your possession um, or potentially in your locker. Do you have your personal phone with you here? I do have one. Okay. Yeah. Is it inside your locker? It's on my purse right now. Okay. So we'll. If you want to go ahead and hand it to us, we definitely don't need to go in and grab it from you. Okay. Um, but the, the search warrant does require that we take it from you. Okay. Okay. Um, additionally, um, it does allow us to have access to your vehicle. Okay. Um, is your vehicle parked here? It's parked a few blocks away. Okay. Do you remember exactly where you mm -hmm. It's over across from Caps Pizza over there. Caps Pizza? Yeah. And is it like in a parking, it's in a parking lot. lot? Okay. Um, is it like one of those paid parking lots? Yeah. Okay, 
So Caps Pizza. I'll put the notes in that. Um, so the warrant does allow for us to also process your vehicle. You guys are going to take my vehicle? No, we're going to process it here. Okay. So that we actually have someone here that's going to help us take some pictures and just go ahead and do what needs to be done so we don't have to. Okay. Um, you know, we recognize that warrants are a part of our job, but we don't like to inconvenience people unnecessarily. Yeah. Um, so that's why we actually brought our technician with us here um, because it is obviously, we obviously want to take your um, DNA with the least effort possible. So mm -hmm. that's why we're using the swabs. Um, and the same goes for, of course, your phone, which you stated is on your person. We don't, we don't want to put hands on if we don't have to. And yeah, no, obviously, like you said, as a law enforcement officer you're willing to comply um, with that being said um, after um, after that we will also have access um, to your locker are your vehicle keys inside your locker uh, my vehicle keys are in my vehicle right now they're in your vehicle yeah so you have a code I have a code okay would you mind sharing that code with us um, I allow a lawyer to say no to that well the warrant allows for us to have access to your vehicle okay yeah, yeah so you break it yeah truck. That's fine. Yeah, I'll give it up to you. Okay. Um, I'll jot it down. Um, Thank you. I don't know the number. I know the... Um, Would it help if you drew the keypad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to draw the keypad? Yeah. I'm the same way, so... Let's see. It's the, I don't know how many buttons are, but it's the top. So one, it's two, straight, three, it's straight five, down. Five. So one, two, three, then back two, then down to five. Okay. Um, so it, they're just basically it's so straight down. It like this. Are the buttons like this? Yeah. There's a few more down, but I don't touch those. The first three. One, two, three. Up. So one, two, three. Then back to two and then three. Two and then this three. One. No, three. three. Okay. Okay. So one, two, three, two, three. Yeah. That okay. Should be that one. Yeah. One, two, three, two, three. Okay. Wonderful. Um, and just um, for the warrant them that you see here, um, just verifying, of course, this is your name, this is your date of birth. Um, we recognize that you're approximately six foot four, you're not very tall. Um, and then we just use your approximate weight there. And um, I know you have more blondish red hair, yeah. um, but we went with your DL. And just if you know your DL number, we can kind of verify that. Yeah. Um, as you see here, um, it does state here that we have premises as well to enter your home at 8621 Chaparral Way. Okay. Um, so we are going to attempt to do this in the quickest way possible and the way that it's obviously going to, this can't be an easy process. We recognize that. Yeah, um, and we don't, what's going on. yes. Okay. Um, is your mom at your house right now? She's not. No. Okay. Um, your wife, she is at home? She is at home. Okay. Um, is it just your wife at home? Just my wife, yeah. Okay. Um, and her name is... Okay. We won't be sending any black and whites over to the house. No. Okay. Just so that you can put you... Is it going to be tonight right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, so um, we're going to do this kind of systematically. Um, the very first thing that we will do is, of course, the swab and the phone. Yeah. Um, do you have any other USB drives, I don't anything know. like that, on your yeah. person? I know sometimes for work we carry them around. Yeah. With us. No, I might have a USB in my locker, but that's just a work locker USB. Okay. Um, so uh, we'll get that started. Okay. Um, and then after that, we know that your employers want to speak with you again. We are mm -hmm. investigating allegations, so they yes. recognize that, but of course. You know, they have to take their action. We can't speak to that. Um, but, of course, um, they obviously want the opportunity to speak with you. Yeah. Um, then, of course, we'll um, process the locker and then process your vehicle. Okay. Um, and, again, we'll do it systematically and as quickly as we can um, okay. to alleviate any additional stresses that this already is causing. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll go ahead and go to your home, and we hope to be in and out fairly quickly. Okay. okay. And my... Um, Guess I'm staying here. I'm not going with you guys or anything like that. Um, so no, you are you are yeah. not in custody. You are not under arrest. You are not even being detained. Uh, okay. That's why you had the right to stop speaking with us at any time. Um, there's no locks on the door. You had the, the opportunity yeah. to leave yeah. if you choose to. Um, and like I said, thank you for speaking to us as long as yeah, you no did. Um, so if you have any questions, we are here. If it's okay with you, I'm just going to grab my lab technician to start that. Okay. That's um, and yeah. where is your cell phone on you? It's on my person right now. Can we go ahead and grab that from you? Do you have so you guys are going to keep my phone? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you have any other, um, as far as your phone, yes. We, airplane mode? Yes, for sure. Um, I don't want to break your phone, and sometimes when we access it without your code, it could, I mean, who knows. Um, so is it possible for us to get your um, code? You guys would break my phone? No, I'm just saying they, they will get into it, like, hard-wise, and I don't want to. 
cause any damage to the phone if it's unnecessary. I mean, you don't have my phone. I'd rather say no to that. No. I'm not, I'll have a lawyer for this. Okay. No. Okay, swipe down so you can put it in your phone Oh, okay. Um, this is like a battery case? Yeah, it's just an extra battery. Do you want to keep that? Does it come off pretty easily? Yeah, I can take it off for you. Oh, that's right. Is that so an iPhone? Take it off? Yeah, it's, it's an iPhone. What kind of iPhone is it? C10 DX. iPhone what? X10. Is it the original or is the original it one of the, the original there, yeah. X? Because there's no need to take the, the battery case. And is it um, updated with the latest iOS whatever? It should be, yeah. Out? Everything yeah. should be updated. All right. Um, okay, so uh, do you have any questions as far as the warrant? Because I'm going to bring my lab technician in here so she can go ahead no, and guide you through it. I don't have any questions. Okay. And I'm going to keep the body warrant camera and everything That's on. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, do you have any other phones, like a department issued cell phone no. or anything like that? No. Okay. I ask, um, yes. are you guys going to be taking stuff from the house like that? My wife might be like, like the bed stuff. I see it says here, I think sheets and stuff like that. Um, yes, if it matches what, what it is that we're looking for based on okay. our investigation. Yeah. So Jay, this is here, and she's working with us, so she'll assist in just gathering the swab. Okay. So get some pictures. So she just takes pictures so we know who the swabs are connected to. Okay, that's fine. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah.
And that's your copy. Jay. Okay, thank you. I mentioned just obviously because um, we um, had a notify bill that we were coming there. We're just going to come in and chat with you. Yeah. Um, we'll kind of try and get everything started so we're not holding you up any longer okay. um, than need be. And, and we're able to get you um, at least get out of here as soon as possible. So if you have any questions, we will be here. Don't hesitate to ask. Are I going to get um, like a card or anything? Yes. You guys I'll give you that. And I'll give you the case number as well. Okay. It's on, it should be yeah. somewhat listed on there, but sometimes it isn't on the warrant. So I'll okay. sure. All right, so case number. And I know you indicated that you would want to speak with a lawyer, so if yeah. you give them my information, they can speak with me directly. Okay. Okay? All right, I will go ahead and let them in here, and then, um, like I said, we'll just do um, some follow-ups so you kind of know what our timeline is as okay. we're kind of moving along. Okay. 